aí? Tô de volta com essa missão bafo de apresentar pra vocês o maravilhoso mundo de Magic Mike. Muitos tanquinhos, muitos peitos sarados, muitos corpos suados. Mas hoje não. Hoje são as rachas. Ah. Jada, ela é a mulher do Will Smith. Ela é a mãe da Willow. Oh, my hair back and forth. Oh, my... Ela é a mãe do Jaden Smith. E aí, você achando que eu ia conversar com a Jada Pinkett Smith about everything? Que você podia conversar, a gente tem um, uma girl talk, enfim, um papo de colegas. Falar, e aí, o boy, como é que tá seu filho? Tá bem? Como é que tá? O Willow tá louco? Ele não tá? Enfim, não. De repente, chegou o assessor. Pergunta sobre o Will Smith? Proibido. Falar sobre os filhos? Proibido. E se vocês falarem, a sua entrevista será cortada e você será retirada do ambiente. Jada, a senhora é destruidora mesmo. Vixe, a senhora é destruidora mesmo, viu, viado? Aí ela chegou. Parecia que tava chegando, meu amor. Uma comitiva, sei lá da onde. Um vestido bafo. Uma cabeleireira. Um maquiador. Sei lá mais quem, sei lá mais quem. Vários assessores. E ela veio. Eu achei muito diva esse momento. Que ela veio no corredor assim, ó. Com um copinho. E o canudinho, ela veio assim, ó. Hi. Eu falei. O poder está chegando. Queen Jada. <risos> Thank you. I love the use of Queen Ward in this movie. It's actually great. Thank you. What about Rome? I think she's like a very powerful woman. She's like really in charge of everything. And I think she's like symbolizes the woman that are watching the movie. Boom. That's that's exactly what when I was, you know, creating the character Rome, I, I wanted her to embody the essence that I feel like every woman is, right? So that when they're looking at Rome, the feeling that they're actually looking at themselves, you know? Yeah. So, and being a girl between so many guys. Oh, it was fantastic. It was really, I mean, you know, thank goodness they are a group of men that really have high regard for women and they took really great care of us. And so it was a good time. Inclusive, tem um momento meio chimbo dela com a Elizabeth Banks. Sabe a Elizabeth Banks? Jogos Vorazes? Pois é, também queria que ela estivesse lá, mas ela não estava. Então, eu projetei na Jada, porque ela tem um momento ali que eu falei, hum, gente, solta o chimbalaia aí, que o negócio tá forte. Sapatonas. Eu sinto longe o cheiro de couro. Elas fazem vibes no filme. So, uh... Elizabeth Banks, I love the chemistry between you two. I love when you first met and you say, mm, what's going on over there? I know, see, they took, they took the part out when I first see Elizabeth, I actually kiss her because we've had a past. Okay. Yeah, I think that we were like fun little lovers back in the day. So you could kind of feel how that energy kind of permeates through, even though they took that particular piece out. Yeah. So it's interesting you caught on to that. Yeah, I was like, mm, something <laughs> happened with I was that. like, when I see Elizabeth, I'm going to kiss her. Yeah. She'll be all right. <laughs> and, so, and it wasn't your first time in a strip club? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I've never been to a male strip club before. I just never had an interest, you know. But, yeah. I mean, this this was the ultimate male strip club yeah, to right. go to. <laughs> and how did you like it? I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. If every strip club was like that, I think I'd be there every Friday. Oh. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, pause, comma, we know that this is a very special, you know, kind of, of club in this movie because, um, I mean, the routines that the guys do and... You know, the representations of all the different fantasies, you know, that's fun. I mean, usually if you go to a strip club, it's like you get the fireman, the cowboy, yeah. the construction worker, the policeman. I, I have no interest in it. E eu também falei com a Andy McDowell e a Amber Heard. E aí eu descobri que a Amber Heard é ninguém mais, ninguém menos do que a esposa do Johnny Depp. Uhum. Ela pega o Jack Sparrow. Já fiquei o quê? Com ódio dela, porque a pessoa que pega o Johnny Depp, meu amor, é outra destruidora mesmo. Eu, aliás, eu vou botar esse vídeo de As Destruidoras. So, the girls on the movie. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, I'd like to know, I think Magic Mike is a little feminist movie. What do you guys think of this? Yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting because it's a, it's, a, it's a male stripper movie. It's fun. It's yeah. a dance movie, but... Uh, I think underneath it, there's kind of a political, um, sociopolitical message. I mean, I know it sounds ridiculous, but deep down, there is something interesting about switching the 
typical gender norms and the expectations, the sexual expectations that we see played out so often in films. It's interesting to have that role reversal. Yeah, because women are really in charge in this movie, right? Definitely empowered. Women are empowered. And Jada's yeah. role really, that if that had been a man, it would have felt really different. But it's great yeah. that it's a woman because, and she's in. There's so much dialogue about, uh, you know, giving women, a, having women are allowed to have a good time, and that they're beautiful and they're appreciated, and we're glorified, and we can enjoy men. It's a yeah. totally different way of going about this concept of sexuality. Yeah, right. And there's no, there's really no nudity in it. There's just great, hot. Sexy, yeah. hot, 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 sexy, hot. dancing, yeah. very hot. But sexy. dancing, I was really worried about you on the last scene. You were like <laughs> all over the place. Yeah. How was, it was that? It was like a stunt, I guess. Um, Did everything yourself on that I th scene? I, I think I don't know. I, I don't know what could have. I don't know what wouldn't have been me. I I don't know. Sometimes they shoot other things with the stunt okay. people, but I I I, I believe that's me. Um, I believe it too. <laughs> <laughs> good, I did my job. I really don't know. I mean, I, that's a good question, but um, I think you know. I didn't realize what it was going to be, you know. And I, I remember when I was, I talked to Channing on the phone, and he was saying to me in a very op apologetic way, a uh, very cautionary way, he was saying, you know, what I have this dance. I'm going to give you like, you know, at the end of the movie, my character kind of gives you a lap dance. Or <laughs> Okay, that sounds hilarious. It sounds hilarious. It doesn't sound serious at all, and it's not. But I had no idea what I was getting into, and I kind of couldn't imagine what the big deal was. And then, when we filmed it, I found out. <laughs> yeah. Ela tava lá maravilhosa. Ela pega o Tony Tenta na tela, dorme com Johnny Depp. Faz o quê, né? I love your like scene with Joe. Thank you. You so have a yeah. good chemistry. <laughs> and, yeah. I thought, oh yeah. God. Oh, damn, look at you. I hate to be rude, but... You want to pop the hood? Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Thank nice. you, girls, so much having me here. <laughs> I'm here at my show. <laughs> <laughs>